Earthbed. Good day, learners. This is Earthbed. Today, we're going to talk about how internet works. Access to the internet becomes essential for most of us in our everyday lives. Through internet, we can able to work, shop, communicate, and access important services. In fact, majority of the world's population today know how to use internet. But have you ever wondered how internet works? So in this video, we will have a short discussion about how internet works. Internet is just a wire. It is just a load of wires that buried in the ground or under the sea. These wires might be fiber optics, copper, and etc. Now, there are special computers that are directly connected to the internet, and these are the servers. Servers store all the data associated with the websites or web pages. Every server has a unique internet protocol address or IP address, so you can easily access any websites stored in the server by knowing its IP address. IP addresses like 69.63.176.13 are very difficult to memorize. That's why a domain name like Facebook.com, YouTube.com, Google.com, and etc. are used which corresponds to each IP addresses to make it easier to remember than the sequence of numbers. Since we use domain names instead of IP address, the internet has a phone book called the DNS or the domain name system, which translates domain names to IP address. DNS is like a telephone directory on which even though we don't know the telephone number of a certain person but know his or her name, then we can easily look it up in the phone directory. Now, our computers or laptops are not servers, since it is not directly connected to the internet. Our laptops and computers are called clients. Clients are connected indirectly to the internet through internet service providers, or the ISP. ISP uses range of technologies to enable customers to connect to the internet. Now, the most common type of internet connections are the DSL, or Digital Subscriber Line. Cable broadband, fiber optics broadband, wireless or Wi-Fi broadband, and so on. If we connect our laptops, computers, or other devices to the internet, through the internet service provider, we are usually given a unique IP address. IP address is like a shipping address on which information reaches that specific destination. The internet service provider will decide what IP address for our devices. For example, I have a computer which is connected to the internet through ISP. I wanted to access Facebook.com so I entered Facebook.com in the browser. The browser will send a request to the DNS server to get the corresponding IP address. Once the IP address is identified, the DNS will forward the request to the specific server. And once a server receives a request to access certain websites, the data flow starts. The data flows through the optical fiber cables in the form of light pulses. These optical fiber cables that carries the light pulses are stretched from seabed to our home and then connected to a router. The router then converts light signals to electrical signals and then an Ethernet cable is used to transmit electrical signals to the computer. Now, 
if you're using cellular data to access the internet, the data from the optical cable will be sent to a cellular tower and then from the cell tower, the signal will reach to your phone in the form of electric magnetic waves. The phone can receive the data because of the phone's antenna. So that's how internet works. Internet makes our lives easy. We can easily communicate to our family, relatives, or friends. We can watch online videos or play online games through the use of internet. But there are also disadvantages you can get in using internet, like bullying, violent images, hackers, or even addiction. And that's why we need to be careful also in using internet. That's it guys! Did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you learned something today. Also, you can watch other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is Earth Pet. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere.